Yo, what's up? I've got this new tutorial to show you how to put these crazy weapon carousels in your map. You can customize what weapons they show. You can change them. So look, here we've got SMGs. Then we've got the assault rifles. And then we've got heavies. And then we've got, oh, missed it. Shotguns, pistols, specials, other specials, and sniper rifles. And you can just pick them up and use them for free and this is in a zombie mode you can either use this type of carousel that goes around in a circle or you can use one that is against the wall like this and same sort of thing here and you can use any sort of weapon that you like so yeah, we got shotguns here and the thing about this is this is a great sort of reward for an easter egg. Say that you've got your players to do some crazy easter egg where they shoot a load of things, they grow a load of soul chests, they do this, this, and this, and this, and this, and then they finally unlock a door after all their hard work and you can reward them with this. And it's a really cool thing. And it's all thanks to Make Sense. Anyway, let's jump into the tutorial and show you how it's done. So the first thing we're gonna do is download it. So if you go up here to the top right and click download, you either wanna download the modified one that I've made or you wanna download the original one by Make Sense. The difference is that I've taken out the guns that he's added in that I don't have, which I don't think you'll have by default. Also, I've added in all of the other guns that you get in Zombies that seem to work with this script. So it's up to you which one you download. So once you've downloaded it just extract it all into a folder anywhere and have it open ready okay so we extracted it here and we have these three things we have instructions which you're going to want to open we also have the script and the prefabs all you're going to want to do is go to your map source drag the prefabs folder in and you shouldn't get this message i've got this message because i've already done it then go back to your root go to your user maps go to the map that you want the script in and go to scripts zm and drag it into here like i have and once you've done that if you open up the carousel you can see here what weapons are going to be added in you can just add them in yourself make sure that you have them in groups of four so you've got smgs there smgs there SMGs there. The second parameter in each line is going to be the class that it's in. So each time you knife, it will be these certain guns. Where you can see here where I've done the PPSH four times, and that's purely so that it shows four guns in the last section. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is open up your map name GSC, and you want to go to the instructions that you had open. Just going to put them here. So we've got your GSC open here and we have the instructions on the right. If you copy this line here where it says using scripts and put it underneath the last using like I have, I've just added in a comment there. The next thing you want to do is copy this line here where it says weapon car in it and paste that at the bottom of your main function like I have here. And then we just need to go to your zone file which you can do by going to launcher, right click, edit zone file. And then what we're going to want to do is is copy in this line here copy and paste it in here once you've done that make sure you've saved your zone file and your map name GSC and head over to radiant okay so we're in radiant now and all you have to do is right click go to your prefab browser make sure you do reload so that it pulls in the new prefabs go to ZM weapon carousel and you can pick whatever one you want I would suggest either base or round base or you can do both like I did so we're gonna put one there and escape and then put in the base as well there and this will show guns going around in the circle and this one will show them against the wall like in the demo and that's pretty much it make sure that you save your radiant and you have compile link and run checked and then do build and if it does error it won't run so after it's fully finished and you can tell when it's finished because this button will say build and it won't say cancel and you can uncheck those and hit build and it will run okay thanks for watching and take care cheers